Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be giving a makeover to this chest of drawers or dresser, depending on where you are from in the world. Someone was actually going to dump this piece, so we saved it from the landfill. This unit was our site for quite a while, so we start off by giving it a good clean with our favourite product, sugar soap. Remember guys, always clean your project well, preparation is key. Before I cleaned the inside, I gave it a quick vacuum to get rid of all the spiders and bugs that has made their home in this unit. Disclaimer, no bugs or animals were hurt in the process of making this video. And boy, was that clean necessary, so dirty. I probably should have taken the hardware off before cleaning it, but I didn't, so let's do it now. We always find a way to make life hard for ourselves. If you've been following our channel, you know that we always have a bit of trouble getting the hardware off, but these handles came off pretty easy for a change. Now that Chantal's finished with all the cleaning, I'm going to give the whole unit a good scuff sand with a 120 grit sandpaper. I gave the unit a quick vacuum and wiped it down with a damp cloth just to make sure the whole unit was clean before we moved on to the next step. So before we can paint, we're going to be priming the unit and we're going to be using Zinzabin. It's a shellac based primer. I'm not going to bang on about this because I go on about it all the time, but it's amazing stuff. I definitely recommend it. Okay, the primer is on. We let that dry for about an hour and then we gave it a light sand down with a 220 grit sanding sponge. Time for the first coat. We'll be using French cheeks, wise old sage, it's the alfresco range, let's go. Thank you. 
That's the first coat done. We did a total of three coats and we sanded in between with a 220 grit sanding sponge. We sealed the chest of drawers with polyvine decorators varnish that flat and we did a total of three coats with lightly sanding in between with a 220 grit sanding sponge. I would recommend using a smaller brush for the smaller areas, but as I wasn't home to supervise, Chantal chose the wrong brush. <laughs> <laughs> We wanted a light and natural wood colour for the drawers, so we decided to take them downstairs and use the electric sander. We used an 80 grit to remove the old varnish. Once the drawers were sanded down, we did the sides by hand and tried to sand down the mark where the old hardware used to be. We used 80 grit for the sides and a 220 grit sanding sponge to smooth out the top. I vacuumed the drawers and gave it a wipe down with a damp cloth to make sure all the residue was off. Because we're going to be putting on new hardware, we needed to fill the old holes. The holes were too big to just use filler, so we decided to use wood glue and toothpicks. We actually stole this off another channel. I can't remember what channel it was, but thank you whoever you are. When the toothpicks and wood glue were dried, we just used a saw to saw off the excess. It's time to fill the holes now and we're using dial brown wood filler. When the wood filler was dry, I sanded down the excess using a 220 grit sanding sponge. However, that didn't work very well, so I moved to a 120 grit. That worked a lot better. Then I went back to a 220 to smooth out the surface. We are doing a pattern on the drawers, so we measured where the pattern had to be and taped it up using frock tape. We've used this stencil before and we really like the outcome, so we decided to use it again for this project. 
For this, we're just using a little stencil brush with a dabbing technique. If you put too much paint on the brush, you will get bleed through. So remember, just put a small amount on the brush and just give it a little dab, dab, dab a -roo. Finally, time to pull off the tape. The drawers only took me about five hours to stencil. Before putting on the protective coat, we are sanding the drawers down with a 220 grit sanding sponge to make the surface smooth without damaging the pattern. We wanted to keep the wood as natural as possible so we decided to use our Rust-Oleum Clear Finishing Wax. Apply a decent amount of the wax on the sponge or a lint-free cloth and rub it in with the wood grain. Let it sit for a while and after that give it a good buff with a microfiber cloth. We pre-measured and marked where we wanted the handles to go, so all that's left to do is drill the holes and put the handles on. Okay, one handle down. While we do the other drawers, let's have a little look at how the unit looked before and get ready for the end result. Alright guys, we hope you've enjoyed the video. We just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has been watching all our videos. It really means a lot to us. And don't forget guys, hit that like, subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. And as always, we'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip, flip side. side. Tum 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 t